Today we're putting some lights on the van. I'm gonna put the nightlight spots, two on each side, two on the rear, and then a 52 inch light bar on the front. I did buy the wiring harness kits just because it's easier, and I'm gonna have a whole switch panel in the headliner that controls all of it individually. So the first step is figuring out how I'm gonna mount it all to the roof rack, then where I'm going to port through the roof to run the wiring down. I've been kind of looking at it, mapping it out a little bit. Right now I'm just gonna go ahead and get everything organized. So here's the little nightlight spots. And there's the brackets on the back. You can flip this either way and then adjust the angle. Being that I've got like a little slant at the top of my roof rack, these will kind of go in at that angle there. So if I have the bracket run underneath, I can get them kind of angled either level or slightly down to oversee the scene. I've got the wiring kind of laid out. Everything's gonna drop through about here, which will eventually be underneath the solar panel. And then there'll be a light right about here, down a little further two in the rear, mirrored on that side, and then the light bar on the front, all of which should be able to make that location pretty easily. And I set the max fan up here, which we'll install next, but uh, just to make sure that nothing impeded it. got my box kind of set right here. From the underside here, purposefully left this from soundproof originally for this potential situation. So it's kind of working out so far. So it'll be about right here that the wires come through and they'll be able to snake right in under the headliner here. And then when this gets all trimmed out and uh, finished in the future with insulation and paneling, none of that will be showing. Okay, so we got it in, it's bolted nice, it's tight, paint's dry, grommets in, butyl tape squished out really nice. So I'm just gonna feed the wires up through into the box and then out to where they're gonna go, tighten those caps, close in the top, make it all watertight, and uh, then we'll come back tomorrow, we'll finish wiring everything up. So I'm using the wiring harnesses from Nylite. They're pretty inexpensive for what all you're getting. I mean, you could probably build this if you want, maybe cheaper, I'm not sure, but. So it comes already connected and set up, ready to go. So you have your switch and it wires out to a relay. So you've got a nice length here to work with to tuck away from your switch panel to the relay. The relay runs to a inline fuse and then onto your battery with battery connectors. If you're doing multiple like I'm doing, you could actually just nip this off here and connect this right to like a multi-unit fuse block like the Blue Sea, which is what I'll be doing, and then just forego this fuse. So I'll have one power wire coming from the battery into my fuse block and then multiple of these running out to the different lights from there. And then their switches will all run to the switch panel. On the other end, runs way out as you can see a lot of wire. And you actually have two, which is nice. It gives you a little pigtail. So if you're gonna run two lights, like in my case, the side lights, I can connect both off of one. If you're just doing like the light bar, I would just do this and you can cut these and shrink wrap it right there and you're done. Basically what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna feed these ends up through the box and run them out to my light locations. Mm -hmm. 